Hello ladies and gentlemen, Mike here at Game From Scratch. And today we are going to be checking out a couple of the featured items in this month's free marketplace content from Unreal Engine. This is a special month because we, the Game From Scratch community, had a hand in determining which assets were included. So I'm gonna go hands-on with a number of these. We'll, we'll do Fluid Ninja later on, uh, but what we're looking at today is Insta Deform component. And as a bonus, we're also going to be checking out uh, the Vehicle Variety Pack Volume 2. By the way, if you didn't already check out this month's Epic Giveaway Vehicle, uh, you can see the Wild West City, uh, Wild West Sky City Pack in action in that video. If you want to learn more, check it out in the link down below. But what we're focusing on today is mostly this guy. And in order to show that off, well, we're going to need something to deform. So we are going to use the vehicles from the Variety Pack. This is in the permanently free collection. Everything else is here. You have to buy it uh, for free uh, before the first Tuesday of August. Once you've done that, it is yours forever and yes you can use it in commercial projects now once you've bought it it will show up in your vault now as you can tell from covering these giveaways since the very very beginning my vault is pretty big now the key ones that we want we're going to want the vehicle pack and it actually creates as a project so we're going to start there so we'll go with the vehicle pack by the way you can use whatever you wish it's just a good way to demonstrate it so here we've got the vehicle pack volume two by the way there was also a vehicle pack volume one uh, so if you want more vehicles in the same style, that is available as well. That's also in the permanently free collection. What you'll notice, I've already downloaded this one, uh, but to, to create this one, you create it as a project. So we're going to go with this one. We're going to call this guy uh, YouTube Demo, and we will go ahead and create it. You'll notice I'm using Unreal Engine 5 for doing all this. All of the assets will also work in Unreal Engine 4. So there is our project created. The other thing we're going to need is DEF. So we're going to search for DEF, look for the instant deform component, and install it to the engine. If you're running Unreal Engine 4.x and 5, you're going to have to install it to both of them. I have already done this step, so I'm not going to showcase this. But now that our project is created, let's go ahead and open it up. Now, first time loading can take a little bit of time. So I'm going to just kind of pause forward until it is all shaders built and all that stuff. Okay, here we are in the scene. I loaded up inside of the vehicle varieties. There is a map and a demonstration map showcasing the vehicles in action. We do have one step before we can continue, though. You have to come up here, go to Edit, and then go to Plugins. And then what you're going to want to do is find Def again, so the Deformation plugin, the Instant Deform component. We're going to go ahead and turn that guy on. And unfortunately, we need to restart in order to uh, change is applied. So I'll be right back when that is done. All right, so here we are back. Our plugin is now enabled, uh, and it is quite simple from this point on. So again, content drawer, maps. Let's open up the demonstration map, and we'll take a look at some of the vehicles in the vehicle pack volume two. So there are uh, four different vehicles. People tell me this is the one I'm curious about. Some people say it's an Acura. Some people say it's a Civic. Some people say it's another vehicle. I still don't know at this point in time. But as you can see, we have four different vehicles in this pack. We have a... Uh, old school camper van we've got an original like jeep cherokee-esque suv we've got i still think it's a subaru uh but i some people say it's a cord a prelude I, I don't know but we have a japanese car from the 90s and then of course we have a generic cargo truck if you go inside of these things you actually find uh the interiors are all done and to good detail like look at the uh the level of detail on these notches which it's impressive and it's it's done for all of them uh including so here let's go dashboard down come on whoa okay i gotta turn that down um to so see you got interior stereos and so on same for the jeep it's got its entire interior modeled and then interestingly enough the camper van is just like a murder truck there's nothing back here the front is all modeled uh but the camper part of it i guess that is up to you so i guess with the van life movement they're embracing uh, a pre-modded van at this point in time. So those are the four vehicles in the pack. The cool thing with this pack is they're already actually set up. So we we'll go ahead and check out one of these things. Uh, so for example, this um, SUV is the default. So we'll go here into uh, the blueprints. You'll notice there is a blueprint directory for each one. So the SUV, we can open this guy up and you will see it is set up. There's uh, already a vehicle movement component attached to this guy and a camera and so on uh, so this guy is already set to go so we we'll go ahead and press play on this scene and what you're going to notice is once i give it focus all right it literally spawned me in a crack okay let's try that again hopefully we spawn out okay we're not in the crack this time so let's get focused and we're going to go down here so you have a full driving sim i'm using the wasd keys right now we have a little ramp to work with we can jump right here and we and so on and then of course i can come over here and i can collide so there is physics set up in this little demonstration that we're looking at so watch here boom 
All right, so the physics happened, and I'm about to fall off the world, but what you're not going to get is um, deformation. So that's where the deform kit's going to come in. I'm going to show you how to go ahead and hook that up in just a second. Also, by the way, if you want to switch to another vehicle, just go in here, so your game mode, you can switch out to um, your game uh, base class here, and we can pick a different vehicle. So let's pick the sedan instead and press play, and there is, okay, now we're set up to fall off the world. Now, a quick jarring cut later. What you may have noticed is we are spawning where we last died. That's because there was no player spawn to find in this demo map. So what I did is actually added this little guy right here. Uh, and this is where we're going to spawn in the future. So just add a player start uh, somewhere in your scene. And then you will stop falling off the world. So now when I go ahead and play this with the sedan. Oh, we're on the SUV now. All right. So there we go. And I will stop that. I'll go over here. I will switch this over to... Uh, sedan and now we'll play that and we're actually spawning where we want to actually spawn so that's one of the things you're going to want to do with the demo level if you're following along is go ahead and add a player start so that you don't you know fall off the world every time you relaunch all right now let's look at actually making our actors deform when there is a collision so things get a little bit more exciting because right now this is underwhelming all right so what we're going to do go into the content drawer open up this blueprint for your actor what you're going to want to do is add a new component to the actor and that component is of type insta deform now if this does not show up uh chances are you haven't installed the plugin correctly uh once it is installed the two key values that you're going to want to be aware of are max deform and max scale this is, seems to be about the the amount of geometry that will actually be distorted during a collision and this is the intensity as far as i can figure it out you can also set up uh bone ignore filters so that uh, certain areas of your mesh can be ignored in part of the deformation it might be how you handle certain situations more complicated scenarios so there are uh, bone filters that can be set up to to ignore uh, other than that that's really all you need to do the, the two key ones are going to be these two values right here so we're just going to go ahead and do a save and then you want to go to the mesh itself go to the collision category of the mesh uh, right here so collision and make sure that simulation generates hit um, events is checked as true. So go ahead and compile that blueprint once that is done. We'll close that down. So we're going to back over here. And the other thing you're going to want to do is go into the skeletons folder here and find the physics asset for the object that you were just dealing with. Here, come in, pick all of the, uh, the bones that you wish, and make sure that also uh, under collisions, it is set to simulate generates hits. Once that is done, save that exit out and you are good to go. So now what we can do is go ahead and run our scene and let's see what happens. So our object is in the scene and let's go ahead and hit something and then boom. And there you see the amount of deformation. Now again, that is all being controlled by this value right here. So once you've applied it uh, to your blueprint, we'll go and open that guy back up uh, under the institute form. It is these two guys right here. So if you want to have less overall deformation, we just dra drag that down a little bit. We'll do compile, save, get back out here and then go ahead and run it. And now, boom. So we're going to come in here and we're going to have a lot less deformation. So uh, just one of those things to be aware of. So we get, there we go. We did a kind of an awkward collision. It worked. And there you can see how with the wheels, how we got the deformation happening around our object, but our wheel didn't contort with it. That's one of those things you're going to want to set up the bone filters to work with. So you are going to have to do some work to make non-deforming objects in your car or whatever handle events so that they respond accordingly in a collision event. Uh, that is how easy it is to actually go ahead and set this guy up. The only other thing you're really going to want to be aware of, uh, there is one other value here under Insta Deform. Um, it is experimental. So if you have just static meshes, not actors, there's no actor uh, scale, uh, assets uh, or uh, physics assets attached to them, uh, just straightforward static meshes. You can set them up and work with them right here. Then you don't need to do anything else to get it working. Unfortunately, since this is experimental, I believe it will only run in the editor. I don't think it actually works at runtime yet. So hopefully that gets added soon. Uh, but if you have just static meshes to work with and no uh, bones or skeletons or um, animation assets set or physics assets set up, uh, you can do it this way as well. So very straightforward process. Again, enable it, uh, add the deformation component to your object, set those two values, and you are generally good to go as long as all of those hit events are turned on. So that is it, ladies and gentlemen. The um, the vehicle pack here and the Insta Deform asset uh, for basically adding instant deformations to your objects with very little work required. Let me know what you think. Comments down below. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.